Hey everyone, this is Ryan over at WP Superheroes, and today I'm going to teach you how to optimize images the right way. This is your quick tip of the day, and let's get right on to it. So why do you want a perfectly optimized image? Well, you want your users to be able to have the perfect size images on their screen. You want them to be able to see it like with high res on a high res device so it looks really good. And there's a lot of reasons why you might want to optimize an image. Google prefers a highly optimized image. And if you're still choosing a JPEG as a, like a quality as your way to optimize an image, you're doing it the old way. And the old way is not the new way. It doesn't fit the new devices. And basically, it's not the right way anymore. So I'll teach you guys really quickly how to optimize images the right way to make Google love the images that you are building into your app design, whether you're building into your web design, your software design, whatever it is, here's how to build them the right way. So let's get started. So the reason we learned this was basically, you know, we had a client, this is a brewery client, and here we are with this brewery client. We needed to optimize their images after we built their website. They have some nice quality images here, but if you take a look at the images on this page, you'll notice that, well, they're pretty big. 5.8 meg, like 2.0 meg. These images are large. Um, if your image is larger than 300K, it has not been optimized properly. So this whole stack of images that are on this web page, this whole stack needs to be optimized. Um, in order to do this, well, it's pretty easy. Let's go find an image, and we're going to go over to Photoshop right now. And here's an image. This image originally is 13.9 meg. I found it on one of their web pages. This 13.9 meg is way too large for a web page. Um, this could be an app or anything else, but let's get it really quick. So we need to optimize this image. In Photoshop, what we're going to do is we're going to take the image and change it to a JPEG low. It may have been a maximum at one point or another, but it needs to be a JPEG low. So you take that image and we're going to be able to flip it around. Right now, there it is at a JPEG high. It's 13 meg. We're going to take it over to a JPEG low. It'll take it down to a JPEG 10. You're like, what? That doesn't look great. But see, we don't need it at a full screen. If we need a full screen, maybe I choose 3,000 pixels wide. We need it a little bit smaller than full screen. So I'm going to tell it to op output at 2,000 pixels wide. Maybe you only want 1,000. You're going to choose according to the application. But here we go. You pick out a lar an image larger than you need. All right? We change it to the web version. We'll save it over here. And lo and behold, what we have is a JPEG that is output and it should have a size and the size is not telling me but let's go back and refresh it and the size is here so that's it there's the image it is let's see what the other one looks like looks great and how big is this thing it still says zero that's not correct Let's get some info on this image. This thing is 149K. That's right. Get your images out at 149K if you can. Um, that's a hundredth the size. So this thing is a hundredth the size approximately of this particular image. Maybe it's only a 90th the size, but you get what I'm saying. This image, when I reduce it down, when I use it onto the web page, it'll be using it at this size. It will look great on a retina screen. No one will tell that it's a JPEG 10. That's the trick. Get the images out larger than you need to use them and then reduce them in size so they look great on retina screens. And that's it. So for the rest of the day, um, there's your tip. My name is Ryan. I'm over at WP Superheroes. Just gave you the secret tip of how to optimize images for 2019. This is the best way to get your images out there and for Google to love the images that you're producing into your designs, whether it's app or whether it's mat, web or mobile, you know, reduce your image sizes, use them bigger, and uh, yeah, do the magic. Give it a shot. Good luck. If you guys have comments, write them in the comments below. I'm interested in hearing what you have to say. And other than that, I hope you guys have a great afternoon. And uh, yeah, WP Superheroes, we're here to work on it. If you want someone, there we are.